Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, which is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube uh, channel, we never take down our videos, whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. And we use the same channel for our Daytona Beach showroom, as well as our Homer City PA location. However, when a car is funded in full, that unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories throughout the United States, more importantly, we install them. So if you're watching one of our video presentations on our classic cars, uh, you can have a different tire and wheel package put on if you'd like to. You can have a digital dash upgrade. You can have uh, an upgrade to fuel injection. Power steering, power brakes, AC, uh, you know, a lot of that uh, modern day creature comforts that we're used to, you can have added your classic ride at Hankster's Garage prior to your vehicle leaving our facility uh, and heading its way to you if you lost the time to do so. Hankster'sGarage.com, check it out. 1966 Ford Mustang. Um, this one has a, yes, 347 stroker motor on it, in it. Uh, as indicated on the valve covers, it is a blue uh, print uh, 347 stroker motor um, that I believe was put in in 2018. Uh, I don't know the mileage on it, unfortunately, but obviously it's 2023, so we're talking about five years ago that thing was put in. A uh, car does have power steering, uh, does not have power brakes, and also no AC. So you got a 347 stroker with uh, no brakes, power steering, no AC. Let's check it out. Black and silver. Uh, good looking color combination on the car. Uh, the stripes uh, are silver and they are vinyl. They are not painted or cleared over. So um, keep that in mind. There is a small little tiny dent in the hood up here uh, that you can see in the right lighting. It's very faint. However, it looks like apparently somebody possibly tried to close the hood and uh, put a little dimple in the hood. Um, other than that, paint condition, um, up top on the hood there and the top of the fenders is in pretty nice shape. There is a little uh, nick over here in the front fender where somebody has brush touched. But hopefully you can see in the uh, video presentation that all the other paint on the uh, top of the fender and the hood uh, look, pretty, look to be in pretty good shape. Uh, same thing with the front bumper. The uh, stripes are also uh, vinyl, you know, front bumper, front lower valance, all that area. Um, paint looks good on the front bumper, paint looks pretty decent on the front valance there. Uh, grill looks to be in good condition, both the chrome and the plastic uh, look to be in good shape up front there. Uh, moving to the side of the car, the uh, driver's side front fender um, looks to be in good shape uh, from a paint standpoint and from a stripe standpoint. Uh, so you have your little uh, Cobra a uh, snake there on the uh, front fender. Um, GT350, it is not a true GT350. Uh, it's just a GT350 style car. Um, the front uh, wheel there, you can see it's got the uh, knockoffs um, on the front. Lug nuts look to be brand new. The wheel looks to be brand new as well. And then of course you're uh, riding on uh, some fairly new uh, radial tires. I've had the car up in the air, looked at the uh, tire condition. They look to be fairly new on the vehicle. Plenty of tread left. Take a look at our uh, cowl area in our front window glass. You can see the uh, cowl um, on the car in nice shape. The uh, stripes, the uh, paint, wiper arms, everything looks to be in pretty good condition there. Um, the uh, front windshield, very nice clarity. Uh, no cracks, chips, bubbles, anything like that. Uh, the uh, dash has got a little bit of a ripple in it in the back here. Um, from you know, uh, drying out there, uh, does have a little bit of a ripple there when it right where it meets the windshield. But the uh, rest of the dash pad looks to be in good shape. What we'll show you on the inside of the car. Uh, how about your uh, window glass on the side? The vent window, door glass, uh, quarter window glass, all look to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the uh, clarity on them is pretty good. The uh, door. Driver's side door. Uh, it fits well to the body of the car 
and no issues going on with the paint. Uh, vinyl stripes in good shape, black paint's in good condition, lower rocker panel's in nice shape. Looks good. Uh, same thing with the roof. Uh, paint on the roof looks to be in pretty good condition up here. The uh, vinyl stripes uh, in nice condition. Uh, black paint up on the roof in, in good shape. Let's pop open the driver door, take a look in the car, starting with the door panel. Uh, door panel paint, so it's painted all around here, uh, top, uh, end, and then of course the bottom. And then in that, that encompasses a uh, vinyl door panel with chrome trim and a vinyl uh, armrest. And everything's in good shape. Your uh, window crank, yep, crank windows. Uh, door handle, see the chrome, looks newer, it's not all pitted or uh, rusted, patinaed. Does have some uh, newer style uh, seats up front here. We will put that seat forward and we will check out the uh, back seat. You can see the vinyl in the car, uh, no issues, uh, nice uh, vinyl seat in the back, not ripped or torn, um, anything like that going on. Uh, carpeting in the car is brand new and so are the floor mats. Floor mats and carpeting are brand new. Uh, the carpeting that was in the car, uh, we put the carpeting and the floor mats in the car. The carpeting that was in there was just, you know, it's black. Uh, we bought the car in Arizona, so the car, uh, the carpeting was a little sun faded. So uh, we, you know, in the center hump mostly, so we uh, put brand new carpeting in it. Uh, the front seats are leather, um, and they are in good shape. Um, overall, no rips, no tears. Great cushion, and they're really comfortable, too. A uh, headliner in the car is in uh, pretty decent shape. It does have a tear right there on the driver's side. And if uh, you're in the process of purchasing this vehicle and you would like a price to put a new headliner in it, we can certainly do that for you, or we could uh, you know, work it into the deal in some way. Um, front floor mat, like I said, is brand new, and so is the carpet. We'll show you that. Oh, we got a leaf in there somehow. Uh, front carpeting's brand new in the car, just like the rear. Um, it's got your upgraded uh, aftermarket wooden wheel here with your uh, Cobra designation uh, badge there in the center. Um, you can see the courtesy lights illuminating under the dash when I open up the driver door. Let's take a look at the uh, rear quarter here. So. Uh, rear quarter of the driver's car, let's start out with the uh, where the roof transitions down to the rear quarter. All your paint's in real nice shape there. And then the uh, paint on the rear quarter there, also in nice condition. Uh, there is a few small little uh, bubbles. They're not, uh, it's not uh, rust or anything like that. There's just a small little, maybe some debris got into the paint right there. Uh, the previous owner uh, has told us that they've been there since he bought the car. Um, but you can see there's no, uh, you know, paint bubbles, blisters, cracks down low here on the rear quarter. Uh, there's just some debris when the car was painted right there. Uh, whoever painted it um, around the uh, rear wheel there. Uh, rear wheels in great shape. Like I said, they appear to me to be newer, newer lug nuts, newer wheels, newer, uh, definitely newer tires. Uh, rear window glass. Uh, same as the front and the sides. Uh, Clarity is real good. You can see there's some Pioneer 6x9s uh, in the hat rack area there. Uh, we'll find out if those work on the test drive, if the radio works. The uh, stripes on the car in really nice shape. Uh, deck lid, paint, really nice condition. Uh, it's got one of those, looks like a brand new uh, Cobra gas cap there. It looks to be in nice shape. Uh, the rear bumper. Uh, lower valance on the car, all in nice condition. Dual pipes coming out there, uh, reverse lights down low. Your uh, brake light bezels, they aren't all pitted and rusted like have uh, they have a tendency to happen on the Mustangs. Take a look in the trunk. So there is some documentation on the car. Unfortunately, you can't read it because it's a carbon copy and it's blurry as hell. Um, I can make out that it looks like uh, June of 18 there, and uh, June 30th of 2018, and there's a substantial amount of work that was done to the car in June of 2018. However, 
you're looking the same thing I'm looking at. I mean, I can read a couple prices here, like $365.20, $29.95, you know, but I, I can't read what it really is. And then, of course, there is a uh, packet here for the part number for the blueprint motor as well as the serial number. And uh, every receipt in here, which there's nothing really that I can read, unfortunately, everything's from 2018, so I would say that that's a good indication of when this car was fully or partially restored, painted, engine done, all that stuff. Trunk's in pretty good shape here. You got no uh, rusting or rotting. All the trunk's nice and solid here. Uh, trunk mat's in good shape. Of course, you know that's your gas tank, so we don't have to worry about if there's a uh, trunk pan in the car or not, because guess what? There's a gas tank there. <laughs> so if there's any holes in that, you have bigger problems. Uh, the body lines on the car are really nice. Uh, the driver door, passenger door, rear quarter, front fender, uh, all the body lines on the car are really, uh, really nice on this vehicle. Uh, so there are no paint issues on the rear quarter here. Um, on the uh, passenger side, it's all nice and smooth, um, both high and low. All of your striping, all of your vinyl striping looks like it's been done relatively uh, recently. It's all... Uh, in good condition, not peeling, cracking, anything like that going on. Take a look in the passenger side of the car. Uh, the door panel up top, great shape. Once again, this is all metal here. Okay, it's all painted uh, real nicely. Uh, the uh, vinyl door panel in the center, not warped or discolored, torn, faded. Uh, chrome is adhered to the door, it's not uh, falling off. Armrest is in good shape. Passenger side seat, same condition as the drivers. And look, you got the recline feature here, you know, front, back, it also comes forward. Uh, but the uh, courtesy light illuminates there in the center console, well, in the center hump area. There is no console in the car. Uh, I told you several times the uh, carpeting in the vehicle is brand new. Your window cranks appear to be newer. Door handles appear to be newer. Uh, the reason I say that is because there's no patina and there's no uh, rust on the door handles. Are, er, uh, uh, I can talk. There are a couple chips there uh, getting into the vehicle um, in the door sill area. Door jam area, whatever you want to call it. No mirror on the uh, passenger side door. Again, if it's something you want, we can accommodate either by you paying for it or working it into the deal depending on what you are going to pay for the vehicle. Uh, stripe down at the bottom of the passenger door, great shape, no paint issues, no bubbles, no blisters, no cracks. You got one of those uh, infamous uh, Cobra snakes on the, you know, the Shelby Cobra snake on the passenger side, front fender. Again, the GT350, it's not a true GT350 car. We're not representing it as one. Uh, the previous owner decided to stripe it in a style of a GT350. So, uh, Top of the fender on the uh, passenger side, we already showed you that looks good. So let's show you uh, both high and low. The paint, uh, real nice on the passenger side front fender, both high and low. Um, down behind the rear, uh, the rear of the front wheel, you can see the uh, emblem for the GT350 is in real nice shape as well as the uh, paint on the bottom of the passenger side front fender. So, that is a quick walk around presentation of our 1966 Ford Mustang GT350 style car. We are going to put it up in the air and we're gonna do an undercarriage presentation. And then shortly after that, we are going to test drive it to show you how these, this uh, 347 Stroker performs. I encourage you guys to come in person to look at whatever vehicle you might be interested in in our inventory. We have a beautiful 25,000 square foot facility here that we're very proud of. We house 60 to 70 cars at any given time. We have a gift shop. We have an excellent sales staff and customer service staff. Um, so take a flight in, drive down, drive up if you're in Southern Florida. Uh, take a look at the vehicle you're interested in and we'll pull it outside for you. You can do the walk around to the car that I just did inside. You can do it out in the natural lighting. You can pop the hood, pop the trunk, roll the windows up and down, rifle uh, through the interior. We'll put it in the air for you like we're gonna do here in just a moment. 
You can check out the undercarriage, floor pans, tire condition, suspension components, bottom of the drivetrain. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, performs, handles, rides. If there's any squeaks, rattles, shimmies, vibrations you don't like. This way, when the vehicle arrives to you wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and went over the car in its entirety for yourself. We do a lot of sight unseen business. In fact, that's how the majority of our business is conducted. Even though I do multiple videos a week and I tell people don't buy it sight unseen, come in person. People continue to wire us money and send us cashier's checks and uh, not come and ever view or drive the vehicle in person. I shop the same way. I don't go to stores. I don't go to car lots. I don't, you know, if I buy a new car, it's delivered. We sign some paperwork and the rest is history. Uh, but if you're a first time classic car buyer or haven't owned a classic car in quite some time, I strongly encourage you guys to come in person and uh, check it out for yourself uh, before, you, before you buy it. Let's uh, put our 66 Mustang up in the air. We'll check out the undercarriage really quickly and then we will drop it down on the ground. We'll do a short little test drive here in the Florida sunshine, show you how the car runs out. Underneath our 1966 Ford Mustang, you have disc brakes up front. So the oil pan at this time looks like it's uh, in pretty good condition. There's a lot of black up there, so I'm not sure if you guys can really see anything. Uh, looking at the driver's side here, it looks nice and uh, dry. And then the passenger side, you can see as well um, up there. See it? There's no uh, leaks or anything coming down the side of the block or the side of the pan. So that looks dry at this time as well. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, transmission pan here. That's easily visible. You can see that. That's all nice and dry at this moment. Um, and let's check our tail shaft seal back here. Got your e-brake hooked up. Everything looks good there. Uh, frame rails uh, look pretty decent on uh, either side of the car. Looks like there's a little bit of cavature here going on. Um, you know, because of uh, people setting lifts over the years, but, uh, you know, not rusted out, rotted out, anything like that going on. Uh, floor pans on the car look to be like they were probably replaced at some point in their life. Uh, pans are too nice to, to look, to me, in my opinion, be, uh, you know, from 1966. Uh, both the driver's side and the passenger side floor pans are all one piece, going all the way uh, back throughout the car, starting at your footwell up here. Um, all the way back to the rear seat area. Uh, no uh, silicone, no patchwork, nothing like that going on. Um, on this car, you do have a small set of headers wedged up there between the frame rails. Uh, then you have your uh, dual exhaust that comes off. Um, the welds look pretty decent. Uh, they're not the best welds I've ever seen in my life, but they're not uh, bad by any stretch of the imagination either. So uh, two pieces of pipe welded in to bring down the exhaust pipes from the headers. And then you have straight pipes all the way back going to your, I believe it's yep, MagnaFlow exhaust there on the uh, rear of the vehicle. Take a look at the uh, rear uh, brakes and tire condition. You do have drums in the rear of this vehicle. Uh, radial tires, of course. Um, we will take a look here real quickly at the uh, tread condition. Plenty of tread left on the tire. Um, no dry rot or cracking uh, throughout the, uh, between the treads of the tire on the car. Um, leaf springs look good in the rear here. Uh, your engine, or engine compartment, your rear compartment where your uh, back seat area will meet your uh, trunk area, all that's nice and solid. You can see that there's no issues going on there. Uh, let's follow the frame rail uh, from the rear of the bumper here. You can see it's all nice and solid. Uh, and then going up over the rear end, that's the passenger side. And then the driver's side is the same way here. All nice and solid throughout. Uh, gas tanks not pushed in, caved in, collapsed, punctured, anything like that. Um, and then uh, dual exhaust coming out uh, beneath the lower valance. 1966 Ford Mustang, we are going to set it on the ground. We're going to take it on a test drive. Before we do that, Let's discuss our payment options. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cash, of course. A cashier's check from your bank, and more often than not, the uh, form of payment uh, most used by cash buyers is bank wire transfer because it puts the funds there the same day. Not a whole lot of us are actually writing checks anymore. 
um, sending checks in the mail because everything's electronic uh, a lot faster. Uh, the faster we get paid, the faster we can push your uh, vehicle into the process for outgoing shipment. How about financing? The collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down is gonna be your minimum uh, required down payment. So if you're talking about a car that's 50 grand, you're talking about five grand out of pocket. Now you can do more if you'd like to, but no matter what your credit score is, if it's 9,000, they're gonna require you put 10% down of the purchase price. No prepayment penalty on the loan. So let's say you get this Mustang and you get an eight year approval term and you decide you wanna pay it off in 12 months. They aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. You know, a lot of people have the ability to pay cash, uh, but they don't wanna lose the car. They gotta shuffle money around that might take five days or seven days or 10 days or whatever the circumstance is. Um, you could take a short term loan, three month loan, a 30 day loan, and you can pay it off. I'm, of course, you're gonna have some fees there to go with processing the loan docs from the lender, so on and so forth, but for a couple hundred bucks, you don't lose out on the car if you're that interested in the vehicle. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, what else do we need to discuss about the financing process? Uh, five to 15 year loans, the approval is gonna be based on your credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, price of the car. They aren't gonna do a 15 year loan on a $25,000 car. So be aware of that. Um, you know, terms are five years, seven years, eight years, 10 years, 15 years. I think to qualify for 15, I believe it's gotta be 50,000 or more. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the car through a pre-delivery inspection. They're old cars, anything can happen. Anything can st stop working. Anything can start leaking at any given time. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We make sure the lug nuts are torqued, make sure the tire pressure is appropriate, make sure that the uh, brake lights work, the reverse lights, the wipers, the horn, the AC is blown cold if the car is equipped with AC. Um, this way, we green light the vehicle one last time prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. If we are handling the shipment, we can typically have a driver here within 48 hours of the completion of the inspection. However, it may take three, four, five business days. If you're a West Coast you know, buyer that trucks have less trips to the West Coast simply because of obviously uh, time factor, uh, or if you're in a more difficult destination, and you probably know who you are if you are in a difficult destination, um, allow us a couple more business days. But I promise you, we work quickly. We will get you your vehicle as soon as possible. We know you're excited to get your car. We're excited we earned your business. So we will get the vehicle there just as soon as we possibly can. The process is <clears throat> payment, inspection in the order that the car's funded. So there might be two in front of yours. There might be five in front of yours. It just depends on what we sold that week. Detailing, dispatched, gone. And if we are the, or if we're handling the shipping, it's dispatched to one of our carriers. If you're handling your own shipping, be it you're sending your own carrier, you come with your own trailer, or you're driving the vehicle home, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it. Let's have our 66 Mustang down on the ground. We'll take it out on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Okay, inside our 66 Ford Mustang, horn. Uh, turn signal, driver's side. See that little blue arrow? Passenger side, this is a, a Dakota digital dash. Uh, fuel is 3%, 2%. So we're gonna go get some before we run out. 14.4 volts charging, uh, oil pressure 53 PSI, temp 156. Wipers. Those work, radio does not. I can't even figure it out, I'm not gonna even attempt to try. So. Looks like there's a radio there, but I don't even know how to turn it on. Tack. That's digital too. 29,748 could be the miles on the car since the motor was put in five years ago. I'm not really sure. I don't have anything to prove or document that. So we are going to go with uh, exempt, true miles unknown. Told you in the showroom presentation, the carpeting is brand new in the car. Um, dash pad's in good shape, except for this corner right here. See it, again, when the sun beats through the windshield, it got like dry there and kind of popped up. Um, so, that's it. Here's the little hole that was in the showroom, in case you couldn't see it, there's a little hole right there in the headliner. But we're running good. 
idling nicely. Uh, this car is a little cold-blooded when you first start it. You definitely have to let it warm up before it wants to uh, idle nicely. But once it gets warmed up, boy, you're in good shape because this thing runs fantastic. I've driven it. So let's go put a little bit of uh, fuel in the thing so we don't run out. And then let's take it on a test drive and show you how it runs. This thing runs absolutely amazing. Great horsepower. No, I don't know how much. Look it up. You know, you have the serial number and the uh, model number for the engine. But tracks perfect. Real nice tight steering. I put fuel in it. I put 35 bucks. 43% fuel from, uh, you know, 3%. So uh, there are no uh, vibrations, tire vibration, engine vibration, tranny vibration, the alignment on the front end, awesome. The car rides really, really nice. Great response in the throttle. You see we're, uh, our temp's real good, we're cooling nicely, it's really hot in Daytona today. We're early morning here, it's about uh, maybe quarter after nine in the morning, so we're only about uh, 89 degrees, maybe 90. We'll be 100 before the end of the day. But uh, digital uh, speedo reading, 45 miles per hour, 44. Coming up to a traffic light here. I'm at least going to brake to uh, make the corner. No power brakes, but the brakes stop nicely, nice and straight. No pull. I'm going to hit the corner here. Plenty of power. You can see I caught up to that car instantly. Uh, 56, 55, we got it to about 60. We're only in a 45 mile an hour zone, therefore I catch up to traffic pretty quickly. I'll try to give it another shot up here if I can get one. Uh, but 56 miles an hour, cooling at 165. Car rides fantastic. Tracks nice and straight. No, vi no, no vibrations in the steering wheel at freaking 55 miles an hour. No uh, vibration in the tires. This is probably one of the nicest uh, riding, performing Mustang coupes that I've driven in quite some time. So uh, you got a real good look to the car. The uh, the powertrain on the car is fantastic. The uh, motor performs nicely. The tranny shifts nice and smooth. The car handles really well. So we're, we're applying the brakes right now. No pull. Awesome. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Well, that car pulled out in front of me. Hangsters.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this car today along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 66 Mustang Coupe includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on that 347 stroker motor. It's good on the transmission. And it's good on the rear end. Warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which is of course, all Ford dealers, most independent and franchise facilities. So you don't have to take it to a Ford dealership. You don't have to take it to a special muscle car restoration center. You don't have to take it to Carroll Shelby, who isn't even alive anymore. You don't have to bring it back to Hangsters or to Florida. But you can take it to the same person that works on your daily, daily driver. Most uh, independent and franchise facilities are ASC certified. It's just a uh, brand recognition to show you they're a reputable shop. You just can't take it to your buddy Bob at work that claims to be a Ford expert. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It is within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. No exceptions to that rule, so you don't have to bother asking. Also, the uh, shipping comes off. Shipping is a time investment. Therefore, we have to you know, pay somebody, employ somebody to do that to set up the pickup, to set up the delivery, to pay the driver when they pick up the car, to track the shipment from the starting point to the finish line. 
Uh, at a negotiated cost, you're going to do all of that work on your own. Maybe you have your own opener and closed trailer because you're a car collector or a car enthusiast. You can come get the vehicle yourself. Maybe you can take a couple days here in Daytona and enjoy the uh, Daytona weather. It's beautiful here. A lot of cool stuff to do. And maybe you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, Jacksonville, St. Augustine, Melbourne, Orlando, maybe even Tampa or Sarasota, Bradenton. You can come drive this 66 Mustang home. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And once again, our website is hankster's.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hankster's Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.